There we go. All right. So welcome. Good morning, everyone. We're actually going to start on our back today for vinyasa. So as you're ready, just make your way down to your back and you hug your knees into your chest for a couple of breaths. Ah, take a moment just to be inviting your awareness into this time, this space. Feel the sensation of your breath through your body. Couple more breaths here. We'll release our hands, release our feet, stretching our legs one direction, our arms the other. For a nice full body stretch. And then allow the arms to come into a T, the feet to come onto the mat out wide, let the knees fall to the right. For a couple of breaths here, just bringing some awakening in through the left hip flexor. Welcome everyone, still making your way in. On our inhale, we'll bring the knees up and over to the other side, so over to the left. Just feeling that gentle stretch and movement through the hip flexors. We'll bring the knees back center, extend the right leg towards the sky. You can hold your hamstring, roll the ankle, and then flexing the foot, pressing the heel towards the ceiling, trying to pull the toes back towards you. And then releasing the left, lift, or releasing the right, lifting the left, roll the ankle. A little stretching warm up, relaxing the left foot, press the heel towards the ceiling. Releasing the left foot down to the ground, reach the arms beside you, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, pull the navel to the spine, and use your hands as you like as you begin to roll yourself up to seated. From here, Cross the ankles, place the hands on the ground and step back, coming into all fours for a couple of cat cows. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. And as you exhale, round up through your cat. Continuing to float right there, back and forth through several cat cows. Good morning, Tony and Jenna. Good morning, Virio and Liz and Ellen. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Cheryl and Kama, Natalie, Blair, and Linda Why? Good morning, everyone. Couple more cat cows as I have a few more people to welcome. Welcome, Natalie. Welcome, Slavka. Oh, good morning, my friends. From our cat cows, making your way into neutral spine, curl the toes under. We'll begin to press up and back into downward facing dog. And pedal your feet out here. Lift and lower your heels. Just continuing to alternate through the feet. Nice stretch, nice sleep. Then pressing back into both heels, gently shift the chest a little closer to the quads, pressing back through the palm and the pads of the fingers, draining the tailbone a little higher to the sky. Maybe wiggle your feet a little longer back away from you, just increasing the stance, the distance between hands and feet. And then as we inhale, flip forward into a plank. Again, you might need to adjust your feet a little bit, bringing shoulders over wrists, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Tuck the tailbone, feel all the strength in the abs. Take a breath here, inhale. As you exhale, elbows hug the ribs, chaturanga down to the ground. Inhale, rise up through the cobra. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, lift and open the heart, feel that stretch, little rocking of your hips side to side. Nice 
Nice. Welcome. Those of you still making your way in, good morning. As we kind of balance our way back into our center cobra, pull the navel into the spine, curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, shift the gaze, walk the feet forward. Exhale into your forward fold. You can allow the arms to dangle, ragdoll, or maybe grab elbow to elbow for a little side to side sway. Feel the lightness in the upper body, the length through the back of the legs. Then on our inhale, let the hands or the fingertips find the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, little bend of the knees to inhale, rise all the way up to stand. And on our exhale, let's take that right back down. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, find your plank once again. And exploring here again a little bit your strength. Pull the navel to the spine, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Take another inhale as you exhale, chaturanga down. Of course, you can skip these chaturangas, right, my friends? You can go straight to down dog. You could even stay standing for cat, cat or for um, lunges and squats if you like. If you are standing on this one, you're going to bring right knee to right elbow three times. If you're here on the ground, we're going to inhale, right leg rises and pull right knee into elbow three times. One, take it back up. Two, take it back up. Three, bring it in, hold it in. And then we're gonna take the right foot on the outside of the right hand into a nice low lunge. From here, we're gonna step our left foot up to join it. And you'll end up being in this little deep yogi squat. Drop your glutes down. Gently press in to the inner thigh, hands to your heart. Oh, good morning. Nice, couple of breaths right there. Inhale. As you exhale, release your hands to the ground. Gently lift up enough to make your toes point forward. And then we'll inhale, rise that up chair. Nice and strong. Gorgeous. Inhale. On our exhale, forward fold down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, traveling through to downward facing dog, maybe with this chaturanga down and through. We'll repeat that same position on the left side this time. So if you're standing, left knee, left elbow, or the floor. Inhale, left leg. Pull it in three times to the left elbow. One. Reach it up. Pull it in two. Reach it up, pull it in three, and then work to step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, and right foot steps in, sinking back down into Malasana once more, pressing into your inner thighs. Yes, nice, enjoy that deep stretch. Take an inhale. On our exhale, plant the hands down, lift up enough to parallel the feet, and allow the glutes to sink down, the arms rise all the way up. Utkatasana, chair pose. As we travel up and through, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands, step back. Travel through the chaturanga down, or of course you can stay standing. We'll be meeting you back there in just a moment. As this time we inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through and we rise all the way up into lunge. Pressing through your back left heel, inhale. As you exhale, open, goal post arms, lift and open the heart. Then releasing the hands, maybe down to your side, maybe in or even interlacing them behind your back, lift and open the heart. Find that balance, find that strength. And on our inhale, arms come back up. Exhale, plant the hands down. So from here, you can either step into standing, step back to downward facing dog, or take a full chaturanga down and through to the other side. Or repeat that, inhale, left leg. Knee to nose, step it through. 
Inhale, lunge. On your lunge, pause for your breath. Open your heart. Release the hands, just either releasing them or bringing them all the way back to interlace them. Take a breath. Then inhale, the arms come back up. Exhale, hands come down. Same option, stepping into stand, down to down dog, or through the vinyasa. Remember that beginning, right knee to right elbow three times. Inhale, right leg. Pull knee to elbow. Take it back up. Pull knee to elbow. Take it back up. Step it to the outside of the right hand. Left foot steps forward. Sink down, malasana. Nice. As you release the hands, as you begin to lift, feet parallel, rise up chair. And then floating up and through that big inhale, exhale forward fold. Half lift, plant your hands, travel through the vinyasa or stay standing for lunges and squats. I'm just gonna add on to some of what we've already done. Inhale, right leg rises. Knee to nose, step it through. Inhale, lunge. This is where we change here, beginning to straighten the front right leg, hinging forward, reaching the arms forward. Feel that work through the hamstring. Take an inhale. On the exhale, allow the hands to come all the way down to the ground into pyramid. You might find you're pushing a little forward towards the right foot. Gently press back into the right heel, or the left heel, excuse me. Pull the left hip forward, pushing the right hip back, just working to square the shoulders. Nice. On our inhale, we'll bend the front right knee. Left leg's gonna come high to the sky, standing split. From here, we're gonna bend the left knee, pulling the left knee in towards the belly, and we're gonna try to rise up on one leg. Nice. Take an inhale. As you exhale, push the left leg back, warrior three. Exhale, hands come all the way down to the ground. Step the left leg all the way back. This is where you could stay right here, or we can step back flowing through a vinyasa into your downward facing dog. And we'll take that through the other side. So inhale, left leg rises. We're gonna step it through, all the way through. Right, rise up, lunge. And then find that pyramid position, straightening the left leg, reaching the arms forward. Lots of strength, lots of work right there. If you need to bend that left knee a little bit, right, for support, always okay. Inhaling, exhale, hands come down to the ground. This is where we press into the right heel, pull the right hip forward a little bit, press the left hip back into pyramid pose. Take an inhale. As we exhale, a little bend of the front right knee, right or left leg, right leg rises all the way high to the sky. We start to pull the knee, the right knee in towards the chest and rise up. Trying to keep that right knee lifted. Okay, a little bit of balance. Right knee comes up and then coming forward into warrior three. Nice. Reaching the right leg back, plant the hands down onto the ground, step back. Downward facing dog. Now, you may be standing if you chose to stand here. We have the left knee to left elbow three times. So left leg rises. Pull it in, left elbow one. Rise it, left elbow two. Rise it. 
left elbow three. Step it to the outside of the left hand. Great foot steps forward, glutes sink down. Malasana. Oh, take a few breaths here. And close your eyes if you like. Allow your breath to become steady. Inhale. As you exhale, we'll release the hands down to the ground. Rise up, straighten the legs, parallel the feet. Inhale, just simply a half lift. Exhale, sink down through the heels. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. And exhale, big forward fold right back down. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands, step back into your plank. You can still be standing if you like. You can press to down dog here or take your chaturanga down and through. Into down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Knee to nose, step it through. Inhale, lunge. Warrior two. Reach and reverse. Pause here in the reverse. Let your side body open. And then inhale as we come forward. We're going to bring the right hand all the way inside. The right ankle sink down into the right knee and then really twist and open the chest gaze up to the left hand. Take an inhale. From here, as the left hand comes down, the left heel lifts, slide the left knee back, let it drop down to the ground, and then take the right foot, walk it out away from the body a little bit. So we create a little more space into the inner thigh. We have options from here. You can stay right here. You can stay right here and start to press the right inner thigh open, or you can drop down onto your left elbow and press the right inner thigh open. So just kind of choosing how deep you want to get in to the right hip or a lizard. Maybe even gaze back over your right shoulder. Inhale. As you exhale, the right hand comes down. If you're down on the elbow, lift up. We'll walk the left foot in, or the right foot in, excuse me, and bend the left knee. So you turn to you bend the left knee. Nice. Now, if you like, you can even reach the left hand. That may be more than you want on that hamstring. Right? You can pull it in. Sometimes the hamstring wants to cramp a little bit there. If you want a little bit deeper stretch through the hip flexor, you can grab the foot. Nice. And then we'll just release the foot, curl the toes under, lift the back knee up off the ground. From here, right hand stays where it is, right inside the right foot. Left heel turns in, left arm rises back up, right where we started. And then we'll just start to straighten the front right leg by knee triangle. Nice. So you can inhale. As we exhale, we're going to rise all the way up and back into a reverse triangle. And then lifting the left heel as we rainbow the hands all the way back down, preparing either to step into a stand, into down dog, or taking a chaturanga down and through to the other side. Oh. Inhale, left leg rises. Knee to nose, step it through. Inhale, come up the lunge. Warrior two. Reach, reverse and hold for a couple of breaths. Stretch, feel the awesome stretch through the left rib cage. And then as we come forward, bringing the left hand all the way down to the ground inside the left leg. Opening the right arm up, extended side angle, very deep extended side angle. Inhaling as you exhale, right hand comes down, lift the right heel. We start to walk the left foot out wide. 
drop the right knee. Right, and here we are, we have these options. We can stay up just right here. We can stay up and press away, or you can come down onto the right elbow and press away, getting a little deeper. So just a super quick announcement while I have you right here. Ascent, Ascent signups are happening. It begins March 1st, we are over half full. So if you are wanting to get in on Ascent, do so sooner rather than later. We don't want you to miss out if that is something that you really want to do. We would love to have you. I'm super excited to see the teams forming. From here, if you're down, right, we'll lift up, we'll walk the left heel in. This is where we'll just bend the right knee. Maybe that's it, right? We're just opening that hip flexor. If you feel okay to reach back for the foot, right, that can bring a little cramping into your hamstring. So only if that feels okay to you. I'm not going to on this side. That was cramping my hamstring a little bit. Nice. And then we'll lower the right foot back down, curl the toes, lift the knee. Open back up into that extended side angle. So right heel comes in. And then from here, just start to straighten the left leg. Triangle. And then using our core, you can bend your left knee a little bit as needed to rise all the way up and back. And then a rainbow. Everything down and around. Step back to your plank. Travel through. A vinyasa, if you like. And into downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. If you're not in down dog, feel free to press off off a wall or maybe even just take a few breaths in mountain, just standing. In, hop in the knees, shift the gaze, walk, step, or float. Half left. Hips sink down, arms rise up, Utkatasana the chair. Also, tomorrow, my friends, Lindsay, who is in class today, she is covering my yoga lattes for me. That's why I'm here covering for her today. We did a little trade. So join, join Lindsay for yoga lattes tomorrow. And then Lauren is actually stepping Stretch Express. I'll be back. Um, after that, to get routine blood work. So fun, right? Oh, metric for me teaching. Inhale, root to rise up. Exhale, big. Forward, fold down. We're all coming down to the ground. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back into your plank. So if you've been staying standing, feel free to join us in the ground here. And chaturanga down and through. Inhale, lift. And exhale, back into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises. We're coming into pigeon. So as we bring our right foot forward, shin across the mat, slide the left leg long. We'll start with a little bit of lifted pigeon. So inhale, lift up through the chest. Kind of walk your hands back towards your hips. Bend the left knee, right? So we've kind of been here already. This time, inhale, reach the left arm forward. Really feel the stretch. Follow the thumb as you open. Again, maybe we grab the hip, maybe we don't. You work on grabbing the foot, pulling it in, if that works for you. Also, maybe hooking the big toe into the elbow, freeing the hand. Right? You could stay here, or you could play with lifting that right arm. Maybe. Almost interlacing the fingers. Some of you might be able to. And some people, I think, Lindsay, you can do reach that hand way over your back. My back's not quite that flexible. Inhaling. And as you exhale, release. Square the shoulders in front of the hips and allow yourself several breaths in sleeping pigeon. Gently keeping the right foot flat. Once again, feel the heart rate settle. The respiratory rate settle.
We'll inhale, gently work up onto our hands, curl the left toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Take a moment here, walk the dog, shift, shake a leg. And inhale, left leg rises. We pull the left shin across the mat. Sitting nice and tall to start. Maybe bending the right knee. Maybe staying here, maybe reaching. Right arm long, opening, holding, pulling in. Maybe staying here, maybe working it into the elbow. Up, reaching back, a little bit of balancing, bound swan, gorgeous. You can release, come into your sleeping swan. And a few breaths here. You also teach chair fit on Mondays, my friends. If you need a little bit more working out in your day, I'd love to have you in chair fit. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And of course, you know, a full schedule of classes still to come. If you want to treat chair fit, I'm going to personally invite you to give that a try. Your inhale, gently lift up through a chest. Bend the hands into the ground, curl the right toes under, and make your way back into one last downward facing dog. Three, shake a leg, walk your dog, drop your hips side to side. As you then come forward onto hands and knees. We'll maybe cross the ankles behind you, just kind of creating this spot, this space to let yourself set back. Lengthening the legs out in front of you. Big inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Reach for the feet. Doesn't matter if you touch or not. That length the entire back of your body. Inhale, gently lifting up. We'll either slide heels to glutes or glutes to heels. Roll yourself back down into the ground. Give yourself a nice big hug. Maybe get a little rocking side to side. Take some nice breaths. If your body's asking you to stretch in any way that you maybe haven't already, feel free to do so or I invite you to just release yourself into Shavasana. We have, I think about a minute here officially together. So I invite you to you know, give yourself permission to let go, surrender, even just to one minute. I'm just completely letting go of any tension in the body any to-do list, any busyness. Just finding your breath. Feel the gentle movement of your breath. Maybe even the rhythm of your heart. And of course, I invite you, if you have a little bit more time in your day, stay here as long as you like. Give yourself the gift of a few more minutes of just stillness and quiet. And whenever you're ready to move, just gently adding a little bit of movement into the body at your time, taking your time to eventually come back to seated, 
and into the rest of your day. Thank you all so much for joining me. The love and light in me honors the love and light in each of you. Namaste, my friends. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.